Hey dudes, today I've got the Nerf Hyper Mach 100. This is the electric flywheel blaster of the Nerf Hyper series. Here's the front of the box. And here's the back of the box. All right, let's open it. In the box, you get the blaster. Nerf rival rounds. Protection glasses. And the instructions. So let's take a look at this blaster. My first impression of this blaster is this is one big blaster. Right here, you just have a lot of mass and something to hold on to. You have a tack rail here and a tack rail here. So you can put a big canister down here and you can put a small reload canister up here or you can put, you know, perhaps other stuff. One thing that I think is really cool about this blaster is you have a flip up front sight, as you can see here. And it's kind of hard to move up, but maybe that's a good thing. And here it is up close. Here's your hopper and this should be your hopper door. Yes, and that is, and that's a little stiff to open. Maybe once we open it a few times, it'll, eat, it'll loosen up. I guess you can consider these sling attachment points. I guess you could also use this as a sling attachment point. On this side of the blaster, you have a little door here, which is most likely your jam door to pull your rounds out. And it looks like you can see the flywheels inside. Right here is your safety switch. Here's your trigger and here is your rev trigger. And right here is your compartment where you put the batteries. And this is kind of nice. The way it is on the bottom, you can just stand the blaster up just like this. The blaster comes with 80 hyper rounds. And if you're new to hyper, the rounds are smaller than rival rounds. They're more of a neon yellow where this is more of a regular yellow. These the hyper rounds are made out of thermoplastic rubber, whereas the rival rounds are made out of foam. And the new hyper rounds are a little bit more dense and they're more difficult to compress compared to the rival rounds. They're both dimpled. They're pretty close to the same weight. And since these are a little more dense, they bounce a little bit more compared to this. This is close to a bouncy ball, but not as hard. All right, so what I have to do next is put some batteries in this. All right, so what you'll need to do next is get a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the battery door. And this blaster takes 60 batteries that are not included. All right, let's test it out. All right. Now, after I added these batteries, this makes this blaster pretty heavy. It's heavier, honestly, than I expected. So to use this blaster, what I need to do is open this door and load the rounds in. Pull the rev trigger. That's interesting. So that has pretty good power and it sounds like when I pull the trigger, something kind of turns inside of there. I get, I'm assuming it's feeding the round into the block, into the flywheel and then it fires. I hopefully you heard that. I'll do it again and see if you hear that. All right, dudes, here's what some of the internals look like when you are firing this blaster. Another thing I want to show you is the blaster will not rev when the hopper door is open. Watch. And when I close it. Just like the hopper door, if the jam door is open, the blaster will also not rev. And then if I close it.
Now I'm going to chrono the Mach 100. One hundred seven point three, one hundred seven point eight, one ten point two, one hundred nine point four, one ten point six, one ten point one, one hundred eight point seven. 109.6 I hope you notice that it's hard to fire one shot at a time. The trigger is pretty sensitive. Some of them came out around 110, um, and some of them came out below 110. So it looks like for this blaster, it's averaging just under 110. First, I'm going to be shooting these cans. Shoot the snare rival target. Now I'm going to try out this on Jax. the Mach 100 is, I think that is really cool that you can load a hundred rounds into this and just, you know, unload them on whatever you want. But um, it's a bit heavy, which is, I mean, that's expected because this is massive and the batteries in it and stuff. I think it's good because they have pretty good power and it shoots really fast, which is nice. It's not too accurate though. Too accurate. What? But that's okay. Now I'm going to be doing a long distance accuracy test by shooting at drift over there that's about 50 feet away and I'm going to be trying to do single shots. Now I'm going to be shooting at drift again, but I'm going to be doing it in full auto. Next, I tested the range of this blaster by shooting at the garage over there that's about 100 feet away. I hit the garage quite a few times while angling the blaster up, and I was shooting in single shot. It's difficult to see the rounds hit the garage at this distance with the camera. All right, bros, so here are my observations about this blaster. When shooting this blaster on single shot, or at least single shot to the best that you're able to do, it appears that it has better range and more accuracy. Um, when I was shooting the garage, I was hitting the garage angled up. I was hitting it quite a bit of time, and that was 100 feet away. So that means actually the rounds would fly over 100 feet. Again, um, when I was shooting Jackson on single shot, it seemed to be more accurate. When I shot the blaster on full auto, to me it, it appeared that the rounds didn't go as far and it wasn't as accurate. It was kind of more just spraying it. 
So if you are gonna be using this in a Nerf war, if you wanna um, you know, get more accurate shots, then you are gonna probably wanna try to do more single shots. And if your target is further away, you might wanna try to do single shots. If they were up close and you wanted to just spray them, then full auto. So you kind of almost have two options with it because even, even though the spray isn't accurate, it kind of sprays it in a, in a general area. So if, you're, if they're moving around, you might hit them. The main plus side of this blaster is you can hold up to 100 rounds. And that's pretty awesome, dudes. Plus, you could keep another 100 right here and 50 right here. So you're carrying 250 rounds on you. So if you want to try the Nerf Hyperline and you're into flywheels, then you should get this gun. If you are into Springers and you want to try the new Hyperline, then um, I recommend that you get the Siege 50. All right, guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Commander Josuel reporting for duty. The next shout out goes to Thomas Trajano 18. The next shout out goes to Adam YT. The next shout out goes to Joshua. The next shout out goes to Mark Kaguin Ball. The next shout out goes to CJ the Football Kid. The next shout out goes to Nerf Reviews and Tips. The next shout out goes to Gabriel's World. The next shout out goes to Bronco Number Nine. The next shout out goes to Parker Olson. The next shout out goes to Crazy Games 1000. The next shout out goes to CC Gray. The next shout out goes to Mason Lee. The next shout out goes to Sunny Salonga. The next shout out goes to Weird Creeper. The next shout out goes to Derp is Dope. The next shout out goes to the Republic of Micronesia. The next shout out goes to Frankie Garcia. The next shout out goes to Vadrama V. The next shout out goes to Alkfon Zhang. The next shout out goes to Jay Davis. The next shout out goes to Joel Vista. The next shout out goes to XYB Conte. The next shout out goes to Giovanni Rocha Garcia. The next shout out goes to AHC Crafts. The next shout out goes to Fernando Grebe. The next shout out goes to the Warrior Rabbit. The next shout out goes to Alan Films. The next shout out goes to SNR Civic. The next shout out goes to Nivez Suela. The next shout out goes to Dead Spider 2008 and Candice. The next shout out goes to Sebastian Ramos. The next shout out goes to Tristan Mullings. The next shout out goes to Jack Larson. The next shout out goes to Crazy Eyes 20103. The next shout out goes to Abu Tatia. The next shout out goes to SBSPTLH South Park Lego Ninjago and Monkey Kid Fanatic 2004. The next shout out goes to Kristen Harvey. The next shout out goes to WWEWR. Hey bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.